and gentlemen, as always, I'm your host, Airsoft Al, and today we are talking about my M4. Because I talked about it in the Armory video that I would talk a little bit more in depth about sort of decisions going into it, why it's set up the way it is, sort of my own personal taste behind it, and more or less cash in on the whole thing of if you make an M4 video, apparently it's going to get a lot of views, so hopefully that will... Knowing YouTube, this video probably has already been demonetized. So, yeah, if you guys want to help out with the channel as well as the plans I have for this thing, down below is the PayPal link pinned in the pinned comment as well as, you know, all that good jazz. So, either way, though, moving on. What do we got today? It's my M4. Let's talk about it. And here it is. My Magpul PTS M4 which now has a full metal upper instead of the nylon reinforced upper from the G&G combat machine, which is probably going to get rebuilt. Maybe. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But moving on from there. What I have right here is, um, let's just go over it, shall we? Because I've added some additions to it. What do I have on here that are the additions and not the original things that were on here from it being built up? Well, I have a fully ambidextrous charging handle, which of course it talks about the Second Amendment in all America. I have a Merca dust cover, which does not, um, yeah, just uh, does that. Uh, that right there, which I'm going to work on a little bit more, maybe. I don't know, I might leave it like that. Just one of those things. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, and that's it. That's the additions on there. Now, tip to toe, what's on this gun? Well, starting with the back here on the basic buffer tube, we have, of course, a CAR-15 stock, which was sent in by one of you viewers, which, of course, is by the name of Brian. Uh, Brian, I thank you for the CAR-15 stock. It actually does uh, add a little bit of flair to this. I really do like it. Uh, but uh, moving up from there, we have, of course, a PTS motor grip, which was on the M16, but now is no longer on the M16 because the M16, sadly, was broken, and it is going to be rebuilt. I am probably going to do a lot more to it. I don't know. We're going to see what the V2-style version is down the line. Uh, moving up from top, of course, is a Matrix uh, carry handle rail, which is a Weaver style, not Picatinny, uh, which has a Walmart red dot on there, which was about, at the time I got it, which was 2016, I believe, it was about 35 bucks. So uh, I think times have probably changed. Attached to that, of course, is the carry handle, which once again was sent in by Brian. Thank you for that. It does match up really well with the black uh, upper. Which I believe is G&G &G also, I'm not, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, moving on downward, we have, of course, a Magpul trigger guard, which um, this was on the original uh, tan variant build. Uh, I lo I've misplaced the black trigger guard, which is somewhere in the parts piles. God only knows. <laughs> uh, internally, however, and this is, of course, uh, the internal build, which... Oh, boy, I'm going to have to tighten up the... Um, the mag release probably because uh, oh wow yeah that's got to be uh, tightened up it's got to be really tightened up good lord the mag release is um, yeah that needs to be tightened up that needs to be tightened up really bad I might work on the mag release which uh, but moving on to internal build uh, inside the motor grip is a 30,000 RPM motor from Star We uh, We Star along the lines whatever the ambidextrous mag release, of course, is a Angel Customs mag release, which, uh, once again, needs to probably be worked on. I'm probably going to have to undo that, redo it, or maybe it needs a new mag head. I'm not sure. Mag release button. It is a fully ambidextrous mag release. Why do I have this? It's because uh, through playing in the woods a lot, and I'm dead serious on this, I would find myself actually in a position where the gun would be mounted on a dirt mound or something. I would have my hand free like this, ready to grab a new mag. And I would always have my finger on the trigger because I would stay in one position and just constantly fire. And I'd have to work my left hand around like this to do that in order to grab the mag free like that. Pull an air mag, pop it in there, and then just keep on going with the ambidextrous mag release. I don't have to do the whole weird thing of trying to wrap my hand around like this or even up like this, more or less. I can just take my hand, grab that pull it out, do this, and just keep on firing, more or less. Uh, moving on to the actual lower, this is a G&G &G 30th anniversary lower, full metal, uh, with the full metal upper. I actually like it. Yes, it's a little uh, wonky because it's not, uh, yeah, whatever. 
Moving up from there, we have the Magpul MOE handguard. Uh, I love this. The reason I love it is because it's sort of the style. It's the style I like it mixes retro with modern aesthetics. I love the triangular handguards. They're always so fun. It is very comfortable, and I just love it. I really do. An M lock is superior to key mod, and a military study has shown that. So fuck all you key mod guys. Uh, I, 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 do, I do love you guys equally, but it's just. I don't like key mod all that much. I, I really don't. It's like, uh, it's like, it's basically like Ford and Dodge always arguing at it, or Chevy always arguing. It's hilarious, but we're, we're it's all good and fun. Moving on from that, we have, of course, an angled foregrip, which is M-Lock also. I like this foregrip. It makes, uh, it allows me to actually comfortably hold the gun a lot much easier. Moving over to the right side, you see this. This is a pack box battery holder. It does have a working laser, which I do love very much. I really do. Yes. Uh, this houses the battery because it's a front wire gun. How's the battery? Now, if I do rear wire it, or at least get a rear wired uh, GNG uh, gearbox, then I will swap over the. I will remove it from this and do all that good happiness to it. Uh, but the reason I went with this style and not the more modern style is because I love the way it looks. I've always loved the bulky peck boxes. I love the old gear just because it's just so aesthetically pleasing to the eye. I've always loved retro stuff. I've always loved old stuff, uh, which is why I love how it actually blends with the modern aesthetic of the MOE, or at least the modern retro aesthetic of the MOE uh, handguard. Moving up from there, we of course have a PTS Griffin Armories Flash Hider. This was actually, uh, uh, David from Dice Airsoft actually helped out with this one in selecting it. This was on the M16, now it's on this. And I like it because the three prongs, for one, uh, I love this right here. And of course it's going to have the two lugs here for attaching the quick attach suppressor. Which uh, I might do. For maybe CQB games, or at least you know something. If I'm going to a CQB arena where I know there's all that, and I can actually have tracer gear on there, I got some you know some the, the mid capsule with like tracer BBs. You know I can do that, have all that good fun, all that good jazz. But moving on from there, now something that will be attached to this, which uh, is something you guys may have already seen a long time ago, and you know about. It is of course a M lock attachment, which does hold GoPros, or at least in this case. Um, knockoff GoPros and things like that. It's a Fiaci mount right here. The Fiaci camera mount is a M-Lock mount, which does, like that, lock into M-Lock. And yes, the camera is at an angle, but uh, not too bad of an angle. And I have actually used this before, and uh, here's some of that footage right now. Yeah, he's moving up! Might direct 12! Contact! Locked up. Come on, don't you be dying on me yet. All right, move up quickly. Move, 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 move. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Go, 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 go. Watch for the Marine, watch for the Marine. Yeah, keep going, keep going, keep going. Right there. Like I said, this camera mount is actually good at what it does. It does hold on pretty tight, does lock down pretty tight. It's it's really good, like it really is. Uh, now, the GoPro on there is a Hero 5 Session, which was donated by, of course, another viewer and good friend Joel, who is a U.S. Army veteran, who actually sent in the Magpul mag, uh, the old Twin Rounder, which are now unicorns and cost a lot of damn money to actually get nowadays. You can find it on eBay. Hmm, yes. Now, I do have future plans for this gun, um, one of which is uh, completing the Magpul PTS look. I am either going to go with a full carbine link stock on this one, uh, which should look, which there should be a picture around here showing that. Uh, reason for that is because I do like the look of the fixed stock carbines. I just love fixed stock guns in general. I really do love the look of them. They have that, that nice, beautiful aesthetic uh, that would just complete the aesthetic I'm going for with this, with like a retro modern look. Or I will get a MOE uh, uh, retractable stock to sort of more or less complete the look of a fully Magpul PTS uh, carbine. Uh, again, I'm still debating on that. Uh, 
you know, more or less. But let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think I should do, or at least what you would do if you were building a sort of all Magpuled uh, M4. Now, another one, uh, internally speaking, this does have a flat hop in this M, uh, in the uh, full metal uh, V2 hop-up unit. I am thinking about going with a rotary-style hop-up unit very soon. I'm, I'm still debating on that one, too. Uh, again, one of those things. And finally is a Type 4 air barrel that's going to be going in here that I need to get for this one because it does not have a Type 4 air barrel. In fact, it has a standard, like, somewhat stainless steel barrel, or at least just a, not a brass barrel, just like a stainless steel barrel, essentially. Uh, it's not a Type 4. It is, like, one of those cheap barrels that you get in, like, those AEGs. Uh, it's one of those things. Next is a mag release. I might be going with an extended mag release, mag pull once again, uh, because this one is, honestly, uh, I might have to redo this one, because once again, it's, um, yeah, I, I might have to redo this one, or redo the button at least. I don't know. It's one of those things. But moving on from there, um, in terms of magazines, uh, which, yes, this does have a mag pull, mag pull assist on this one. Instead of the standard Stenag full metal mags, I'm actually wanting to get the uh, PTSP mags uh, to run in this, or at least some uh, P mags, along with the uh, short P mags and things like that. But I still love the look of the Stenag mags, so I might run the I might run those two in this one, uh, mostly mid caps. But again, one of those things. But in terms of performance, this gun has actually done a lot for me. I'm I've been working on this gun for three years now, give or take. This was a trade-in, the GNG Combat Machine, for a Fiat, uh, no, not Fiat, for a Fab Arms Tri-Shot Springer. Uh, trade this in for that because the kid didn't really understand how to work on this gun. I was like, hey, you know what? Uh, why don't I give you this Tri-Shot shotgun? It's easy. It's stupid-proof. You can use it. You know, go have fun with that. He then, of course, trade me his GNG Combat Machine. It was a really good trade. He still loves that Fab Arms uh, Tri-Shot to this day. And again, just one of those things. But outside of that, ladies and gentlemen, um, that's about it. That is honest to God it. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway, though. Thank you all for watching. As always, I've been Airsoft Now. The con man's Airsofter, who, well, shows off his guns and talks about his projects so you guys can kind of know about it. And if you guys want to help out with the future of the M4 build, uh, consider donating to our PayPal down below because knowing YouTube, they've probably demonetized this video because it involves guns and parts and how to build said things. Even though we don't, but God only knows YouTube's wondrous wisdom. Anyway, thank you all for watching. As always, I've been Airsoft Al. The comments are softer who, yeah, does what he does. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think of the M4 and how I'm building it up and sort of my taste in it, the whole retro. Uh, futuristic thing, and uh, let me know what your thoughts are on Magpul in general, and PTS in general. And uh, yeah, see you all in the next video. Later, guys.